Hey everyone! Wait, hold on. Mom, I know you're going to be watching this, so exit out now because this is for you. Seriously, turn it off now. Okay, hey everyone. So with Mother's Day coming up, I wanted to share a few ideas that you can make for all of our loving mothers out there. And what's better than a homemade gift? I know my mom loves when I make her gifts because she knows how much time I put into it and the fact that it came straight from the heart. So here's one idea that is not only really adorable, but it's something you can personalize. So if you want to learn how to make this, then go ahead and keep on watching. These are the items you're going to need. Wood dowels. These ones are 3 eighths of an inch by 12 inches long. A light green acrylic paint. Some tiny wood clothespins buttons or anything around that you can use to act as the center of a flower, some colored scrapbook paper, I'm using some that are textured and have polka dots on them, a sponge brush, something to put your paint on, I'm just using the small paper plate, scissors, a glue gun, a flower pot, I'm using one that I found in my backyard and I just cleaned it out, and some styrofoam. Now grab your wood dowels, feel free to use as little or as many you'd like. For this project I used five of them. Grab your paint, make sure you uh, shake it thoroughly before starting. And with your sponge brush, paint each of those wood dowels that light green color. This is going to act as the stem of our flowers. You can leave about an inch at the bottom unpainted because it's going to be covered up anyways. And once you've done so, um, set these aside to dry. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to completely dry. Okay, so now while that's drying, grab your scrapbook paper and cut 2 inch wide strips and 3 inch wide strips as I'm showing you here. We're going to use this and make them the petals of our flower. The amount of strips you will need will depend on how many flowers you'll be making, so just cut accordingly. Now once you've cut your strips, fold them accordion style like I'm showing you about 1 inch wide. And once you've folded that, Draw a teardrop shape on the top of your fold, like so, and get your scissors and cut them out. Now you have all these petals cut at one time rather than cutting each petal individually. Repeat the same steps for the other strips of paper that you cut. For this red uh, petal that I'm folding right now. I drew an eyeball shape for the petals and like I did previously I folded it according style and then cut it out. Now once all your petals are cut, grab your buttons and we're going to start putting together the flowers. Glue gun the bottom of the petal and place them on the back side of the button. There's no right and wrong here, just grab each petal one by one and glue them around your button until you get your desired flower shape. Be creative. I kind of put the smaller petals up front and then I cut out larger petals and glue them um, behind to give me that flower shape. Just repeat these steps for each button that you have. Okay, so as you can see here, all of my flowers are done. These are the different ones that I created. Again, there's no right and wrong. Just glue the petals one by one, however shape you like. Now grab your wood dowel that you painted green, and by this time they should be completely dry. With your glue gun, uh, place about an inch of glue from the top of the dowel down and glue it to the back of your flower. Repeat these steps for each flower that you have. So now once the stems are glued, grab your tiny wood clothespin and you're going to place some glue on one side of the clothespin. Glue it to the wood dowel with the part that opens facing up. This is what's going to hold your pictures in place. So again, do this for each flower that you have. All right. So now grab your flower pot and the styrofoam and place it inside of your pot. The styrofoam is what is going to hold your flowers upright and in place. Now stick each flower in one by one. If you don't like the placement of it, just go ahead and pull it out and re-stick it in the appropriate spot. <clears throat> 
sorry. You might want to cut the bottom of your stems so they stand lower and they don't block the other flowers um, that are in the back. And now your Mother's Day gift is done. You can add some moss to glue to the top of the styrofoam to cover it up, up if you'd like. like. Print out some pictures and place them in the clothespin. I went ahead and put a picture of our entire family, um, our dog with my eyeglasses on her, and a picture of my brothers and me. You can also write a sweet Mother's Day message and place it in the clothespin as well. If you want to see more Mother's Day gift ideas, then please like this video and I'll go ahead and make more. Don't forget to subscribe also so you don't miss out on upcoming DIY videos. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.